So you're thinking about moving to Poway, California, but you're not exactly sure on what Poway is even known for. Are the schools good? Is there anything to even do there? What's the real estate market like? Well, I'm gonna go over all that and a little bit more to give you a better idea of what it's actually like to call Poway home. And I'm gonna do a couple things with you guys, but we'll first jump on the Google Maps and I'll walk you around, show you some of the things to do, some of the things you should just know if you're thinking about moving there. And then after we'll talk a little bit about the real estate market and I'll go over some of the census data for you guys. So let's go ahead and get after it now. Welcome back. If this is your first time here and you like to know more about San Diego real estate or life here in San Diego, or I guess Poway if you're watching this video, make sure you tap that subscribe button below. My name is Nick and you guys reach out all the time and I absolutely love helping you guys out. So if you're thinking about making a move here in a week, a month, a year, make sure you shoot us a text, shoot us an email, or just straight up give us a call so we can help save you a lot of time and just help you make a smooth move here to San Diego. Now, like I said, we're gonna talk a lot about Poway in this video because over the last few years, a lot of people have definitely moved to Poway because it's got that country vibe to it. It's got a small town feel. Population is not as big as a lot of these other cities here and you can find some gorgeous homes, some really gorgeous hilltop mansions and you can find some condos too in the lower price point. So it's very budget friendly depending on what you're looking for. And that's exactly what I wanna show you guys in this video is just to help you figure out is Poway a good place for you or not. I have a ton of other videos on not only Poway but on San Diego. So I think they'd be very helpful in your search. So make sure you check them out. I do a lot of cities here in North County, San Diego. So let's go ahead and jump into my computer and let's show you around. All right, so welcome to Poway. You can see I have it pulled up on good old Google Maps right now. And I wanna let you guys know the motto for this city and what it's known for is called the city in the country. So you're still in North County, San Diego. You're on the Eastern side, as you can see right here. But I wanna let you guys know, especially if you're, you know, if you're retiring here or you want a better climate and better temperature, San Diego is gonna be perfect first off, but if you want it to be a little bit cooler, the beach and the coast right here is gonna be sometimes five, 10, 15 degrees different with temperature. So it'll be that much warmer over in Poway. And I can tell you this drive to the beach right here from Poway is only gonna take you about 30 minutes. So it's really not that far if you wanna change the scenery, if you want some cooler weather. But I can tell you right now, my office is actually located right here in Del Mar. And I can tell you it's 65 degrees out right now. And there you go. So it's 73 degrees in Poway, just 30 minutes away. So in the summertime, it can get warmer. If it's 75 on the coast, it's likely 85, 90 in Poway. Before we dive into Poway, I wanna tell you guys how far it is to downtown San Diego. So if you're gonna be commuting anywhere south, if you're gonna be going to the airport, things like that. It's going to be located about right there. And that's going to be, let's actually type this in, but I'm going to guess and say about a probably 30 to 40 minute drive. So Poway to San Diego International, 35 minute drive. That's really not that bad. You're going to hop on the 15 straight shot down to the 163. Boom. You're in downtown San Diego. Keep in mind, there is zero traffic right now. And then let's get out of there. Let's go back to Poway and a little bit about some of these surrounding cities. You have some great great cities close by. That's the beauty of not just Poway, but North County in general. There's just a ton of things to do. You know, it is still spread out, but you're not gonna be far from shopping plazas and other activities, especially here in Poway. You have a ton of trails and things like that. So right here, you're gonna have Rancho Bernardo. That's gonna be your neighbor. Carmel Mountain Ranch, which is really nice. You're gonna have a bunch of plazas, Costco's, uh, or I should say one Costco. You have a Costco in Poway as well, but you have a lot of shopping and things to do like that over there. And you're right next to the 15, which is great. So this will take you pretty much everywhere you need to go. And you can hop on the 56 if you wanna just cut straight to the beach. Great location overall. And let's dive into this because like I said, the city's known or its motto is the city in the country, right? So with that being said, it's gonna be a little bit more laid back, a little bit of country life. And if you haven't seen my vlog, make sure you check that out because I go to the downtown area or the old historic area. I check out some houses and I just take you around Poway to give you up close and personal feelings. So check that one out. But let's dive into this area. And not sure if I already mentioned this, but the population there is about 50,000 people. So it's a medium sized city 
in San Diego County. It's really, you know, some of these other cities have a population of 100, 150,000. So there is a lot of open roads. There is a lot of, there still is a lot of shopping and plazas and things like that. There's a lot of wineries too. So let's dive into this and I'll start in the northern part because I just want to highlight a few things, right? These are things you're going to want to know. These are things if you're there or living there, you're going to want to go check out and do. So first off, we'll start over here and we have the Madeiras Golf Club, which is a very gorgeous golf course. So if you like playing golf, you're going to have not only this one right here in Poway, you have another one as well, but you have over 70 golf courses in San Diego. So if you're a golfer, especially if you live in Poway, make sure you check out Madeiras Golf Club. And also what I wanna let you guys know, I'm gonna pull up some of the housing data and things like that and go over that with you guys. But the median home price here in Poway is about $950,000. So if you see my vlog, I said it was 1.2 in there. That's not right, I was confused, I said the wrong data. So $950,000 is your average price point. Now you can find some beautiful, really beautiful homes if you have a bigger budget. Right in this area right here, you can see it's overlooking the Madeira's Golf Club and you have a ton of gorgeous homes up there. It's called the Heritage and these are homes that are gonna cost you about four million and up. So there's some hilltop mansions up there. A lot of professional athletes have retired here and still live here to this day. I know Tony Gwynn had a house here, a couple of the San Diego Chargers like Phillip Rivers. So there's some gorgeous homes back there. You can see we have Bernardo Winery, which is a great, it's kind of like the oldest winery, I think, over in the Poway area, but you're gonna have a few to choose from. And there's a lot of houses there when you're driving by the countryside, you'll see they have vineyards and, and things like that. So if you like wine, Poway is gonna be a great spot to get some local wines, not to mention trails out here. Obviously there's a lot of residential. All these little lines over here are just going to be residential homes. All the yellow is going to be commercial. So you're going to have a lot of homes for the most part. But what I want to say is there's a ton of trails and wildlife and things like that. So if you're a hiker and you like to be outdoors, definitely keep Poway on your list. And even if you move somewhere else in San Diego, you're going to probably be going to Poway to do some of these hikes. Right here you have the Mount Woodson Trail, which will take you to Potato Trip Rock, which is way over here. And you've, you've probably seen this place in pictures, but really cool spot to go get a photo and you know go on a hike with the kids or the family. You also have the Lake Poway right here, which is right at the, right at the trailhead too. So if you wanna do some fishing and just hang out by a lake, you have that. Another thing, I'm sure you guys know this, and I'm gonna cover this too in the census data, but Poway, it has some of the best schools in all of San Diego. It's actually rated number two, and it's rated number one for best public schools for athletes. So that's huge. Poway High School has definitely bred a lot of great athletes that are known. So that's going to be over here. And Poway does have about 30 schools. So it's a mix between public and private, but the public school system there is great. And I think you got about 10 private schools as well. And you know, you're going to have Target Anywhere you're, you are in Poway, you're only gonna be about 10, maybe five minutes away from a big shopping plaza where you're gonna have Sprouts at Trader Joe's. You'll have Target and you'll have some really good restaurants, whether you want something sit down or you want like a Chipotle or something quick. So you're gonna have options and a ton of trails and things like that. As far as I know, I know there's one more ro rodeo arena in San Diego and that's gonna be in Lakeside, but there's one right here in Poway and they still do rodeos not too often anymore, but they I know they do a couple a year still. So it's kind of cool. It gives you that country feel. This is kind of smack dab in the middle of Poway. And this is gonna be where, this is where I start my vlog of Poway, where I'm in a little old historic zone. I walk around the little downtown area. But this is kind of a cool spot to go bring the kids, hang out, you have a picnic area. You just have a nice outdoor area. And Hamburger Factory right here, it's been voted multiple times the best burger in San Diego and you can get I believe it's Monday nights it's 20% off uh, burgers so not bad and it's like a family style restaurant and then right across the street you have I don't know if it's going to populate Smokin' Joe's or Smokin' Jays I should say they've been rated some of the best barbecue in all of San Diego County you got a little beer garden up here that's the thing about Poway there's so much to do and you can still have not be crunched up against your neighbor you do have some track homes some older custom homes, but you also have bigger, beautiful estates that aren't hugged up against your neighbor and a lot of horse properties as well in Poway. So that could be something if you're interested, you're gonna have a lot of diversity when it comes to that. This is gonna be one of your biggest shopping centers right here and it's smack dab in the middle of Poway. It's right off Poway Road right here and then community, but you're gonna have Brigantine in here, which is some great seafood. They have one in Del Mar, 
but they're one of the best seafood spots probably in uh, all of San Diego, and they definitely have some really good fish tacos on Taco Tuesday, so make sure you check that out. And then, like I said, you can see you got your Seder Bros, Walmart, Lowe's, all your usual stuff. But that's the thing with San Diego. You have, you know, you have so many amenities close by no matter where you're really at. And I think the more amenities and more valuable a community is, depending on where you're looking, if you want something far away from the hustle and bustle, you're going to find that in Poway. If you want something close, you're going to find, or close to the hustle and bustle, you're going to find that too. And, you know, I covered all the trails. I covered the schools, things like that. Iron Mountain is another great trail. You got Potato Chip Rock. You have like Poway, like I said, and you have Iron Mountain Trail. I want to say there's over 60 miles of trails just in Poway. So you're going to have a lot of options. This one's probably one of the more heavy duty, maybe the more not not trained, but you, you climb some elevation. You have some beautiful landscape. You can see in that photo, it looks great. So, you know, just some stuff to keep in mind. It's going to have an older vibe here right now. I want to pull up just some of the census data to go over that because I found this pretty interesting. Here we are. I'm on niche.com. This is where I like to find all my census data. It's great for that. So you can see it's rated number seven for best suburbs overall to live in San Diego. It's got an A plus for school ratings. As you know, I already went over that with you guys. Population's about 50,000. And let me go down because this isn't right. Their, their real estate data is pretty off, but I do love to look at the rent versus own in a city because it has a lot to do with how values are first off and how they're gonna to continue to trend up or down. So obviously if there's more owners in the neighborhood, the houses are gonna be up kept better. The neighbor's not gonna look you know, all deranged and overgrown lawn and th things like that. So this is one of the highest I've seen. It's about 80% own and 20% rent. That's really high, which is great. Um, most cities here in San Diego are about 60% 60, 60 owners, 40% renters. You can see it has some of the top schools and pretty much all over California for the most part. Crime is a B minus, which is great. The diversity, this is a big one too, because you know a lot, a lot of you guys, especially if you're younger professionals or you're retiring, you kind of want to, you don't always want a mixture of a bunch of retired people or, you know, younger people. But this, it's pretty diverse, but about 65, sorry, about 18% of people are 65 and up. So they're retired and they're just living that good life over there in Poway. So, and then you can see the next is about 15%, 55 to 60, 45 to 50. So it gets lower and lower. So there's a lot of um, older people, I guess you could say out there. So it's a little bit more relaxed um, and just something you should know. Another thing is the median household income there is about 115,000, which is very, very high for San Diego County, which is great. That's going to keep the home prices, you know, trending higher and keep them very steady. And now we'll pull up the housing data. And I like to use Redfin. It's just very basic to look at, but you can see the median sale price is about 950,000 right now. It's up about 200, 2.5% year over year, which is good. I always like to look at, you know, who's moving here or who's looking to move in Poway. Los Angeles is number one, San Francisco is number two, Chicago, Illinois, and Washington. So there's constantly people moving to San Diego still because there's a lot of high paying jobs. There's the best weather. So people, and that, that could likely be you too. You're moving here for one of those reasons as well. Or maybe you're just trying to raise your family with a good school district. So that's gonna cut it for the median home price. All right, so that's gonna wrap up our overview of the city of Poway here in San Diego. And as you guys can see in that video, it's a lot more laid back, it's a little bit more mellow, and it has more of a small town feel. I mean, the population is only 50,000, so it's on the lower side here in San Diego, and it has some really good schools, and it's got a very diverse age group too. So it has a little bit of everything for everybody. So no matter where you're thinking about making a move, make sure to reach out if you are, or if you have any questions, just shoot us a text, shoot us an email, or just straight up give us a call so we can help make the process as smooth as possible. So I will see you guys in the next video.